Hi guys. Happy 4th of July. Here's chapter 8. <coughs> Excuse me. Flash, glitter, and twinkle. Ducked into the cute cafe. <laughs> they piled around the table. The cafe was a favorite spot for pups of all ages. Full of cozy cushions, and stacked books, and colorful wraps. Stepping from the always felt like some far flung adventure. Glitter. Grab and blueberry muffins for everyone. Honestly, I need them doggone honey. I can do my best thinking get number four stomach, Flash said. With a mouthful of disgusting. Nothing. You do everything on full stomach. Mac twinkle simple laugh. <laughs> it was true. Watch the reputation between a tiny pup with a huge Appetite. All right, he's gonna be a fat cow. <laughs> Me and some of those kids play a story barking babe with their magic sparkle recap. But how? Claire said softly, We should send them back to wherever they came from. They're just little kittens, I bet their parents are probably worried about them. I don't think they'll go without a fight, Twinkle barked. They seem that they're having too much fun here, Glitter Punch of Claws. And that's why we have to set a trap, she cried. Some pups in the nearby table looking curiously. Oh, oops. Sorry, question. Several of the boys came from the lane. I just can't help. Getting excited and she had a tree rough again. Hmm. That's a good idea, Flash. Flash, him. What kind of... Glitter stopped short. Flash had gotten her paws and was now racing around the room, stopping to study each wall. Aha! Uh -huh, she barked, running back. Join a friend. And, uh, I knew what I see in summer. There's a map for Whisper Key, and I went for the key. unicorn cats. I bet that's where the kittens came from. Spark laughed. Well, you figure it out. Even she. Folks, don't call her Flash for nothing, Twinkle Stubb smiled. But how'd they get here to Puppy Paw Island? <sighs> Glitter wanted. And why have so many of their pranks and small bots? Flash took an hour by the muffin. Musker Key was far, far away. So the only way to reach the kittens. And so it's Puppy Paw Island by boat. Did they have their own boat? Were they stowaways? Stowaways! Flash clapped a paw over her own mouth. Well, I think I know how they got here, she said quietly. She had a sink and bone in her stomach. It was suddenly filled with globs of heavy peanut butter. All three of Flash's friends turned to look at her pleasantly. 
they must have came by boat, right? A boat who docked before the kid and craziness came in. Question. Your dad. Wash your You don't think the kid is stolen your dad's boat, do you? What are us. Twinkle is thoughtful. It does make barking good sense. Everybody's so they're using barking and spawn the F word. Very sly. That would even be why the kids have been playing so many tricks that affect you, Flash. We have to fix this, Flash said. Energy surge. My dad is getting in trouble for accidentally taking those little kids so far away from home. We need to get them to Whisker Key and fast. We don't have a boat, Flash said. Mm, sparkle. Flash burn. No, but we have a ferry. I'm sure I can ask Captain Salty Paws to return the kid to their home. Puptastic sinking, Flash, Glitter said. She glanced at the clock on the wall. The ferry comes this afternoon. Bow, wow, we don't have that much time. Flash took one last slurp of her lemonade and brushed the muck and crumbs of her paws. They all suddenly ran the door. They had to get their tails in gear. She could hear her friends scrambling and laughing behind her as they tried to catch up. Flash, where are you going? Twinkle Pant looking behind her. To the ferry dock, Flash said. That's where we need to lure the kitten, so that's where we'll start. <coughs> Excuse me. The friends ran along the cobblestone street past the town square which is free of purple glue, glue now and down to the docks to the water edges boats of all sizes were tied up there flash finally skid to a stop the friends plopped to its own huffing and panting who oh, do you ever walk anywhere flash twinkle woman think we could eat six more muffins if you're all that running Blag. Flash giggle, grumpy, be barfy Twinkle, always made her laugh. Deep down, Twinkle was always ready to win a paw, no matter how much much of a bitch she had to be about it. Again, as a thing. Twinkle, I'll buy you millions of muffins after we catch the kitten. Flash barked. Her dancing around with her friend. But now. Oh. I crossed. Oh. You need to use your scene magic to figure out how to lure the kid into the first fairy dog. We have to get them on that ferry before anybody figures out how they came here in the first place. Each pup had different magic specialties, and Twinkle's sea magic was particularly strong. That means she was good at solving riddles and puzzles, and did a positively wonderful job of understanding her, too. Twinkle sat still, her eyes closed in, before among her ice blue horn began to glow faintly at first. And stronger and brighter, she suddenly jumped to her paws, a wide smile arching across her snout. I got it, she cried. What do kings love more than anything? Yarn, flashed Alfred. Jingly bells, Glitter said. Fish, Glitter added with an excited bark. Think on it. All those and more. If we're gonna have to catch those kittens, we're gonna need to use their favorite things. And then we'll need every ounce of magic between the four of us. These kittens are feisty, and we can't let them get distracted along the way. Under Twinkle's destruction, direction, the four friends dash room, carrying much of kitten bait, bait they could find. Soon they all came up a heaping pile of yarn, bells, sardines, and milk. Sparkle and glittery, stay here to dock and get ready for kitten chaos, Flash instructed. Place some sardines along the bowl, bowl with milk. 
right at the end, when we reach the ferry, talk to Captain Sonny Paul and ask me to take the kids home to Whisper King. Aye, aye, Captain, Sparkle said with a salute. She then paused for a minute and her going horn glowed. My feeling magic tells me the kids have gone far from where we last saw them. Head back to the courtyard and get ready to move your ears for meowing mischief. Got it. Flash, here comes me, Twinkle said. Grab as much as your paws can carry. We're gonna find those kittens.